Our world is full of mysteries and inexplicable phenomena. Sometimes, even scientists are unable to explain their nature. In this video, I invite you to get acquainted with the most mysterious places on our planet, the existence of which is hard to believe. Enjoy watching. Uluru is located in the central part of Australia, in the Uluru Kata Chuta National Park. The solitary, massive, brown-orange rock in the middle of a semi-desert area looks truly fantastic. Its height from base to top is 348 meters, length is over 3.5 kilometers, and width is 3 kilometers. As you can see, Uluru is very large. Moreover, this rock is also very ancient. Its age is about 680 million years. Local residents consider Uluru to be a sacred rock. In their opinion, it once served as the abode of spirits. The owner of the rock, a water python, lived on its summit, and the spirit of the black monitor lizard lived on its slope. The Aboriginal people consider it their duty to protect this territory, so in 2019 the rock was closed to visitors, and in 2020, its 3D panorama was removed from the Google service. Admittedly, the fact that this rock is located in the middle of a semi-desert area seems strange. So where could it have come from? The thing is, this territory has not always been as it is in modern times. About 550 million years ago, there were still many mountains there. Over time, under the influence of natural forces, they were destroyed. But Uluru withstood these tests and now pleases our eyes with its uniqueness. Mountaineers strive to conquer as many of the world's peaks as possible. The highest among them is, of course, Everest. However, among the highest mountains, there are those whose summits have not yet been reached by man. The highest of these is Gangkar Puensum, located in Bhutan, on the border with China. Its height of 7,570 meters above sea level makes it the 40th highest peak in the world. This mountain harbors many secrets. For a long time, it was believed that Gangkar Puensum could literally disappear from the landscape, a phenomenon noted by many expedition participants. Even today, the coordinates of the mountain remain variable, leading to disputes between China and Bhutan over whose territory it belongs to. However, the mountain remains unconquered for another reason. Initially, mountaineering in Bhutan was banned until 1983. After the authorities finally allowed it, many climbers attempted to reach its summit, but all such attempts ended in failure due to various reasons, including weather conditions and accidents during ascents. In 1994, Bhutan once again prohibited attempts to conquer Gangkar Puensum and even banned expeditions at its base. Consequently, the mountain's mystery has intrigued ufologists, who believe that its name, which can be translated as Peak of the Three Spiritual Brothers, indicates that three alien races live on its summit. They claim that eyewitnesses have often seen objects resembling flying saucers and dancing lights there. This is all very intriguing, but it's important to remember that Buddhism is practiced in Bhutan. According to this religion, Many mountains are considered sacred abodes of spirits, which humans are not allowed to disturb. This is precisely why the state authorities have restricted access to this peak. The Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel is highly popular among tourists, and it's not just because of the quality service and picturesque views from the windows. What attracts people the most are the mystical stories associated with this place. Located in the Canadian province of Alberta, the hotel was built in 1888. It has hosted many famous personalities, such as Marilyn Monroe and Winston Churchill. During the construction of the hotel, the workers made a mistake and forgot to leave space for windows in one of the rooms. To hide their blunder, they completely bricked up the room. This room was only discovered in 1926 after a severe fire and was used as a storage space. However, Hotel staff reported that it was impossible to stay in this place due to the intense fear and anxiety that arose in people as soon as they crossed the threshold of the room. Most of the mystical stories at Fairmont Banff Springs are not related to the secret room, but to room 873. For many years, guests who stayed in this room complained about the presence of evil spirits. People spoke of handprints on mirrors, 
ominous laughter and the cries of a child and the movement of objects. According to legend, a couple and their young daughter were murdered in this room. But the mystique of room 873 is not where the hotel's mysteries end. According to guests and staff of Fairmont Banff Springs, the hotel is home to many more ghosts. For example, many people have seen the dancing spirit of a bride in a white dress. The most famous ghost of the hotel is a butler, whose spirit smilingly opens doors for guests. As you can see, this place is truly shrouded in mystical stories. And if you are a fan of paranormal phenomena, then you must visit the Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel in Canada. Nature never ceases to amaze us, and sometimes even a forest can look completely different from what we're used to. A prime example of this is the Crooked Forest, located near the town of Gryfino in Poland. This grove consists exclusively of bent trees, which look as if someone deliberately bent them. The area of this unusual forest is about 1.5 hectares, and it contains no less than 400 bent pines. The astonishing grove attracts tourists from all corners of the world and, of course, sparks interest among scientists. However, the cause of the anomaly in this forest has not been determined. Interestingly, the pine saplings initially grow like normal trees, that is, upright. Then, once the trunks reach about 30 centimeters, they abruptly change their growth direction to parallel with the ground surface, after which, curving smoothly, the trunks reach upwards towards the sun again. Thus, the shape of the trees begins to resemble a hook. As I've said before, the exact cause of this phenomenon is unknown. However, scientists have several hypotheses about it. Some experts lean towards the theory that the trees have such a shape because someone conducted experimental cultivation of pines, managing to change the direction of the tree's growth. Most scientists, however, believe that the forest grows on a geopathic site, meaning that the trees have a kind of mutation caused by the negative influence of the soil. Regardless of the cause of the anomaly, the Crooked Forest is recognized as a natural monument and is protected by the Polish government. Count Dracula is one of the most recognizable characters in horror. He gained his fame thanks to the eponymous novel by Irish writer Bram Stoker. I believe many of you know that the character's prototype was Vlad Tepes, the ruler of Wallachia, also known as Vlad Dracula. Of course, this person was not a vampire, but his difficult fate literally drove him mad, spawning anger and cruelty within him. The Principality of Wallachia, which Tepes ruled in the 15th century, was located on the territory of modern Romania. Now, the most visited attraction of this country is Bran Castle, or Dracula's Castle. As you might have guessed, this place was directly associated with Vlad Dracula. However, according to history, he did not live in this castle. Some historians suggest that he spent only a few nights there during his campaigns. According to other experts, Vlad Tepes loved the Bran area and often came to its vicinity for hunting. In fact, Bran Castle regained its popularity thanks to Bram Stoker. The description of Dracula's castle in the novel almost completely matches Bran Castle. For this reason, fans of the book and vampire movies regularly visit this place, although of course there are no ghosts or vampires there. Conspiracy theorists believe that highly advanced civilizations live in the bowels of our Earth. According to them, some of these beings also live under thick layers of ice. By choosing such areas of land, they have protected themselves from human invasion. Of course, it's hard to believe in such things, but recent scientific discoveries show that many amazing objects are hidden under the ice. In 2013, scientists from the University of Bristol and NASA explored Greenland using radars and other technologies. Thanks to modern methods, they managed to look under the ice sheet, which is about 3,000 meters thick. What the researchers found became a global sensation. It turns out that the largest canyon in the world is hidden under the ice of Greenland. It stretches 740 kilometers from the highest point of central Greenland to the Peterman Glacier on the northwest coast and is at least 10 kilometers wide. Just imagine the scale of this canyon. 
Scientists believe that it formed about four million years ago, even before Greenland was covered with ice. It was likely part of a gigantic river system. India is a captivating country with unique customs, culture, and beliefs. It is home to a vast number of attractions, but the most mystical among them can be considered the Bangar Fort. This fort was built in the early 17th century as the residence of Madho Singh, the second son of Maharaja Bhagwant Das. The place flourished for several decades. The city was bustling with trade, craftsmanship flourished, temples and palaces were built, and all its residents were happy. However, one day, the city was deserted. Why did this happen? There are two legends about it. According to one, it was cursed by the sage Baba Balao Nath, who disliked the fort's rapid growth. The second legend says that Bangar fell after Princess Ratnavati rejected the love of a sorcerer. Either way, the Indian authorities believe that evil spirits and ghosts inhabit the ruins of the fort. For this reason, they prohibit visiting Bangar after sunset. Locals claim that with the onset of darkness, they often begin to hear women's screams and eerie music, and also smell strange odors. They all believe that those who enter the fort's territory at night will never return. It's hardly possible to verify this since the doors of Bangar are always closed after sunset. The Coral Castle is located near the city of Homestead in Florida. Tourists who have visited this place at least once agree that it looks very beautiful. But this castle impresses not with its attractiveness, but with its history. Surprisingly, the Coral Castle was built in 1951 by a single man named Edward Leeds Kalnin. He began working on his creation in 1920, after his fiancée left him the day before their wedding. Presumably, Edward was so devastated by the betrayal that he decided to rid himself of this feeling through work. To avoid attracting attention, he worked on the construction after sunset. It's worth noting that the Coral Castle is made of megaliths which Edward personally transported from the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. Some of them weighed up to 30 tons. Many of you might be wondering how he could do this alone. This remains a mystery. Many conspiracy theorists do not believe that Edward could transport such huge stone slabs and stack them on top of each other without assistance. Therefore, it is believed that this man had contacts with other civilizations that helped him with the construction. Edward never revealed the secrets of his construction. However, he once claimed that he had discovered the secret of ancient civilizations, namely how to lift stones weighing several tons with primitive tools. This helped him build the Coral Castle. This photo was published online by an anonymous user. The author only mentioned that it captured some kind of secret genome farm. He did not explain what this meant and soon deleted the photo. Partially, what is depicted in the photo resembles a crevice in the territory of agricultural lands. We see that water is flowing into this crack. Upon closer inspection, one can notice that water streams are flowing down in areas of soil erosion. It can be assumed that there is special irrigation equipment installed there. It must be admitted that this photograph looks very strange, and what the message about a secret genome farm means remains unknown. Perhaps the author of the photo wanted to show the world the place where genetically modified products are produced? This is my only guess. What do you think about this? Share your opinions in the comments. The Carolina Bays are a unique place, the mystery of which even scientists are unable to unravel. They are elliptical and round depressions located along the east coast of the USA. Their depth does not exceed three meters, and their diameter ranges from 100 to 12,000 meters. If you look at a satellite photograph of this area, you can notice the peculiar pattern formed by thousands of bogs. Currently, the number of water-filled depressions has significantly decreased after plowing and paving, but originally, there were no fewer than 500,000. The Carolina Bays are not only distinguished by their unique elliptical shape, but also by their diverse ecosystem. They are home to many animals and birds. Some of the bogs periodically dry up and are then replenished by atmospheric precipitation and groundwater. 
There have been numerous speculations about the nature of the formation of these amazing depressions. Their number and shape have sparked guesses about alien involvement. However, scientists have their theories. They believe that a long time ago, after disintegrating in the atmosphere, fragments of a massive meteorite fell on this territory. This explains the shape of the depressions, as each of these indentations indeed resembles a crater left by a meteorite. According to another equally popular scientific hypothesis, the Carolina Bays were once ancient lakes that existed here about 95,000 years ago. The Sahara is the largest sand desert in the world, covering over 8.5 million square kilometers. If you think there's nothing interesting there except endless sand, you're mistaken. The Sahara holds many mysteries, one of which is known as the Eye of the Sahara or Richat. The Richat structure is located in Mauritania, near the settlement of Uadane. This geological formation, about 50 kilometers in diameter, looks like someone's eye or the rings of a child's pyramid toy from a bird's eye view. The Eye of the Sahara is even visible from space and has long served as a landmark for astronauts in orbit. The remarkable shape of Rishat has been the subject of many debates about its origin. Ufologists continue to claim that it's not a geological formation at all, but a sign through which aliens communicate their surveillance of our planet. In reality, our brain always tries to draw analogies with familiar things when seeing new objects, and a shape resembling an eye can indeed make one think of surveillance, However, scientists are confident that aliens had no part in creating the Eye of the Sahara. They believe that Rishat formed between the late Proterozoic and Ordovician periods. The oldest ring is estimated to be about 500 million years old. Scientists think that the structure formed due to erosion when a section of the Earth's crust was uplifted. However, this hypothesis remains unproven just like the theory that aliens were involved in the creation of the Eye of the Sahara. As you can see, sometimes not even scientists can unravel the mysteries of certain objects on our planet. The Skirid Mountain Inn, located in the small Welsh village of Lanvi Hangul Krukorni, has been known since the 14th century. According to historical records, it was a resting place for the soldiers of the Welsh leader Owain Glyndwr, who participated in the uprising against King Henry IV. Now, the inn is famous for its numerous bloody and mystical stories. It is believed that in the 17th century, the main floor of this building was used as a courtroom. Moreover, it was there that death sentences were carried out, most often by hanging. It's no surprise that the inn has a notorious reputation, and many believe that the unrestful souls of criminals dwell within its walls. Visitors to the Skirid Mountain Inn often witness paranormal phenomena. They hear terrible laughter, eerie music, footsteps, see wandering shadows, and feel cold drafts. The most famous ghost of the inn is the spirit of Judge Jeffries, who sentenced criminals within these walls in the 17th century. This man was known for his particular cruelty and nearly always sentenced the accused to death. Other known ghosts include the priest Henry Vaughn, the criminal John Crowther, and an unknown lady in a white dress. Indeed, this place is filled with the unrestful souls of those who died here. It's no wonder that numerous paranormal-themed projects and TV shows have been filmed within the inn's walls. The Moai are well-known monolithic sculptures depicting various human faces. These amazing sculptures are located on Easter Island, Chile. It is believed that the island was discovered by Polynesians in 1200 AD. These people found ways to turn an uninhabited island into a thriving and culturally developed place. The Moai are proof of this. Currently, there are 887 such statues on the island. Each of them is unique. Their height varies from 3 to 5 meters, and they weigh an average of 5 tons. The process of creating the Moai was very labor-intensive. It involved not only the processing of stone, but also its transportation. How exactly the Polynesians moved these monoliths remains unknown to this day. Local residents still believe that the Moai statues harbor the ancient power of their ancestors, which helps the island remain an ideal place to live. 
Ufologists, however, believe that these monoliths are evidence of Polynesians' contact with extraterrestrial races. Geoglyphs are among the most discussed topics among conspiracy theory enthusiasts. These ground images are truly impressive in their scale and perfect proportions. Perhaps the most famous among them are the Nazca Lines, located on the Nazca Plateau in the southern part of Peru. This plateau stretches for over 50 kilometers. It features 143 images of animals and insects, 13,000 lines and stripes, and at least 700 geometric figures. The Nazca Lines have become the subject of study not only for conspiracy theorists, but also for scientists. For example, the German researcher Maria Reike dedicated the majority of her life to studying this region and succeeded in getting the Nazca Lines recognized as a World Heritage Site. So, who were their creators? Archaeologists associate these ground images with the Nazca culture, whose representatives inhabited this territory in the first six centuries of our era. To create the necessary images, these people cleared stony areas of land and arranged stones along specific contours. However, it remains unknown why the Nazca created these images. Experts suggest that they might have been conducting some sort of rituals to worship their gods or observing the stars. One of the most famous ancient architectural monuments in the world, Stonehenge, dates back to the Stone Age. However, despite its age, it continues to remain a mystery. Scientists still do not know who built this structure and for what purpose. Stonehenge is located in Wiltshire, England. It consists of a circle of megaliths. These stones reach more than 4 meters in height and over 2 meters in width. The weight of the largest megaliths is about 25 tons. On top of them are placed lintel stones over 3 meters in length. This construction truly looks monumental. And now let's remember that people began building Stonehenge during the Neolithic era. But how were people able to move and stack such enormous stones on top of each other? This question has puzzled scientists for many years. According to legend, Stonehenge was built by the wizard Merlin, who was assisted by giants. Scientists have their own theories, believing that either local tribes or ancient Romans, who found a way to move heavy stones using primitive tools and animals, created this structure. The purpose of Stonehenge's construction also remains unclear. It is believed to have served as a kind of altar, as indicated by human remains discovered by archaeologists at the site. Unfortunately, there are no records of Stonehenge's construction and use, so this place continues to be one of the most mysterious in the world. In the valley of the Belforche River, in the American state of Wyoming, lies a fantastic natural monument known as Devil's Tower. This unusual monolith impresses with its beauty and majesty. Its height is 1558 meters above sea level, with a total area of just under 5.5 square kilometers. To admire this unique attraction, several hundred thousand tourists from all over the world visit the Belforche River Valley annually. This place is indeed very popular. However, Devil's Tower is also shrouded in numerous mystical stories related to its origin. According to one legend of the indigenous people, the mountain appeared in this place after a bear attacked several girls returning home from the river's coast. The young maidens prayed for help from the gods, who took pity on them and raised a piece of land to a great height, so the wild beast no longer posed a threat. Native Americans also consider Devil's Tower a sacred place. In their view, the elevation was created by a spirit of the elements living on its summit. When angered, a terrible storm occurs, but when people manage to gain its favor, the spirit sends rain to relieve the land from drought. Scientists, however, provide a different explanation for the origin of Devil's Tower. About 200 million years ago, the state's territory was an ocean. Due to high seismic activity, a powerful lava eruption occurred, which solidified underwater. Gradually, the landscape of this area changed. When the water receded, this natural monument, created from volcanic rock, was left in an open semi-desert area. 
Area 51 is one of the most secretive and mysterious military bases of the USAF. Even the country's authorities denied its existence until 2013, though the test site was built in 1955. It is believed that this place was created to establish contact with aliens and further study interactions with them. Public interest in this base was sparked after physicist Bob Lazar claimed in 1989 that he had participated in developing many tools for communicating with extraterrestrials. Furthermore, he stated that he had personal contact with one of the aliens. In 2015, strange lights were spotted over Area 51, and other airbase employees noted other unexplained anomalies in the sky above this test site. All this seems to indicate a direct connection between the American government and aliens. However, after acknowledging the existence of Area 51, the authorities officially stated that the test site is used for developing modern experimental aircraft, and such secrecy helps prevent information leakage about the projects. The Tower of London is a very famous London landmark. This place is visited by many tourists, but few know about the dreadful secrets of the fortress. Within the grounds of the Tower of London lies a tower prison, originally intended for the nobility and high-ranking individuals. The first prisoner was confined in the tower in 1190. Among the notable prisoners were King John II of France and King James I of Scotland. Besides serving as a place of confinement, executions and murders also took place within the tower. The most mysterious story that occurred in the tower prison was the disappearance of the two princes in the tower, 12-year-old Edward V and 10-year-old Richard of York. The boys were the sons of English King Edward VI and Elizabeth Woodville. Their disappearance occurred in 1483, shortly after their father's death. It is believed that their uncle, Richard of Gloucester, who was appointed Lord Protector of Edward V, was involved in this tragedy. The uncle was supposed to assist the boy in governing until he came of age. Gloucester began his assistance by placing both princes in the tower, allegedly for their safety. After that, Edward V's coronation was continuously postponed, and eventually, the boys mysteriously vanished, with Gloucester becoming the king. It was only in 1674, during repair works in the tower, that the remains of two children were found. The reigning king at the time, Charles II, immediately recognized to whom they belonged and ordered the boys to be ceremoniously buried in Westminster Abbey under the names Edward V and Richard of York. Despite its off-putting name, Devil's Bridge is one of Germany's most picturesque attractions. It is surrounded by lush trees and the crystal-clear waters of Lake Rakatz. This structure is located in a dendrological park in the city of Gablins. Its history began in 1844, when Friedrich Hermann Rochka decided to create an English-style park on the lake's territory, complete with avenues, artificial grottos, rocks, and a stone bridge. For his vision, he had to import basalt slabs from Switzerland, which became the main material for constructing the Devil's Bridge. The bridge turned out to be truly impressive. When viewed with its reflection in the water, it forms an almost perfect circle. It's astonishing that the architect of this arched structure remains unknown to this day. The perfect geometric shape and artificially created stone teeth framing the bridge led people to speculate that the architect might have been the devil himself. Whoever the author of this structure was, it must be acknowledged that the bridge looks fantastically attractive. Although it is closed to visitors, there are many adventurers ready to trespass for the sake of spectacular photographs. A cemetery is a place that reminds us of how fleeting and vulnerable our lives are. Some of them, in their silence, look so beautiful that anyone who visits feels a sense of fear. One such place is Highgate Cemetery, located in North London. It was opened in 1839 and quickly became popular among the wealthy locals. At that time, the Gothic art trend was still prevalent, which is associated with a deep philosophy of life and death to this day. Therefore, Highgate Cemetery boasts an incredible number of Gothic crosses and statues, but visitors to the cemetery are attracted not only by the architecture of the monuments, 
but also by numerous stories related to ghosts and vampires. It is believed that vampires resided on its grounds, hiding in the most luxurious graves of the cemetery. Moreover, the fact that Bram Stoker worked on his famous novel Dracula in this place also added to the cemetery's popularity. So if you love gothic art and vampire stories, Highgate Cemetery will become one of your favorite places in London. In Chestnut Ridge Park, located near the city of Buffalo, New York, lies a unique place where two elements, fire and water, intertwine with each other. If you think such a thing is impossible, just take a look at these shots. You'd agree, it looks absolutely fantastical. For a long time, it was believed that the source of the eternal flame was natural gas seeping through the rock and igniting upon contact with ancient heated shale. Even when approaching the waterfall, a distinctive gas smell is clearly perceptible. However, things are not as simple as they seem. According to the local indigenous people's version, this flame was ignited long ago by their ancestors, the great shamans. Although scientists did not believe in such a legend until recently, in 2013, they had to acknowledge that the shales in the rock do not possess sufficient temperature to ignite the gas. This means that science does not know why this flame burns, especially under a waterfall, whose droplets could extinguish it. Thus, the eternal flame falls can confidently be called one of the most unique places in our world. That's all from me. If you liked this video, don't forget to rate it, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. Your activity is the best reward for me. Thank you for your attention. See you soon. Bye.